Hey folks, welcome back to Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. So we had a member in the Facebook group bring up uh, a great point yesterday. They, uh, they were asking what's in everybody's winter car kit. You know, the temperatures here in upstate New York have been in the, the teens, wind chills, single digits, sub-zero in a lot of places. Um, and we gotta be prepared in our vehicles, you know. As you've seen from some of my shorts, the roads, they don't take care of them the way they used to. So we need to make sure that we are prepared in our vehicles to uh, potentially be stuck in them along the roadway, perhaps. Um, the more you have, the easier this is gonna be. So I thought it would be a good time for me to come and take stock of my truck and see what I got in here that's gonna help me get through a situation and then make some adjustments. Um, you know, it's been hunting season. It's been, I went camping last weekend. I've pulled so much stuff in and out of the truck. I don't know if I'm prepared. So let's take a peek, see what I got and see uh, if or how I can improve on it. Stick with me. All right, let's start Ram box passenger side. Okay, well, there's a tarp, some gloves. Uh, can you guys see all this crap? It's a lot of crap. Dude wipes, oh, a putter, a putter. Putter. This side is telling me, oh, we got a road flare. We got that. Solo cup. Frozen solid dude wipes. Frozen solid Windex. Uh, tent stake hammer. Solo cups. Uh, some ratchet straps. A sponge. A sponge. You never know what you're going to have to do dishes when you're camping, right? That never came out of there. A little Ozark trail. That can eat more frozen. Frozen wipes. Those are not going to help us. Uh, these might help. Some gloves. These are waterproof gloves. Military surplus. Cheapest around. It's a bag of sugar. Yeah, it's sugar from the camping trip. They'd take that in the house, man. Could you imagine getting pulled over with that in the back of your car like this? They'd be like, sir, step out of the vehicle. They run you through. Oh, we got some dishes I got to do. I put those in my pocket. Yeah, this side is saying um, if we get stuck along, we got some recovery equipment. But uh, if we get stuck, we better take that in the house. If we get stuck along a roadway with the stuff that's in this side, I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. It's not good. Not good. I'm hoping that this driver side Ram box is going to make up for everything that the uh, passenger side forgot. Let's see. All right. So we got some tools. First aid. Some rags, bag of wiping cloths, teepee, that's good, we got that going for it. Ooh, Mikwicks, yeah, there we go, we can start a fire. Now we're talking, right, now we're talking. Uh, we got a little light, cordage, all right, that's cool. We got some we got some cover with the tarp that we got on the other side, and the Mikwicks, so we can have a fire. We got some good little tools in here. This is a great little tool kit I made up to keep in the truck, just some emergency tools pliers you know things to repair small stuff on the go this is uh this is a pretty nifty little kit right here so this will this will help a bit um we could totally start a fire we got uh, a little light here this thing's fantastic i love this little light this is an energizer headlamp in there believe it or not this is one of the cheapo purchases i found this sucker at ollie's um yeah it's just a regular old energizer headlamp came with this cool little tent light kit thing works great works great still running same batteries had it for a while now oh man we got two things in mickwicks look at that we could last a while out there and don't forget to use your code hvps at checkout save 20 percent, baby mickwick fire starters best fire starters on planet earth see even the hat says so mm -hmm. so so far, we got some paint brushes. I got a saw, we can cut some wood. We got a small Leatherman here, that's helpful. So if we're stuck on the side of the road for extended duration, we got plenty of medical, plenty of medical. We got some tent stakes, we got cordage. We got cordage. Um, big shout out to Sister Marie's Kitchen. She gave me these at the uh, Vision Preparedness Ohio Bug Out weekend. Those things are fantastic. If you uh, get yourself some small game and you got no way to really cook it or prepare it, it's freaking awesome little metal steaks, man. Put a couple of those suckers together, and next thing you know, you're grilling. You're grilling. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm in good shape. Oh, this big plastic bag, guys. These are these are jumper cables. Um, they're in uh, the boss's car, and she let me borrow them when my battery was dying in my truck. I've since replaced that. Batteries aren't cheap anymore, so. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, I think we could we we'd be all right for a little while at least. For a little while. Oh, we got another little first aid kit down there. Contractor bags. Yeah, I think we'd be all right. But I think, I think we need to make some adjustments here, guys. I think we need uh, a little more winter preparedness stuff. I'm definitely lacking on some things. So let's uh, let's make a list, shall we? Insulation was definitely missing some insulation in there. Grabbed up the old wool blanket. We're gonna tuck that guy. That one's a little big. I think we're gonna get that behind the back seat. Let's go along with the uh, insulation. I grabbed a beanie and a neck gaiter and uh, a whole fat stack of these hand warmers. Uh, these can be invaluable. There was a good discussion in the Facebook group yesterday about um, thawing your water that you store in your vehicle. Um, it's gonna freeze, man. These kind of temperatures that we've been in, it's gonna be frozen solid and you're gonna need a way to thaw it out. So uh, hand warmers is one of the things that was brought up. Um, and perhaps if you have a, a cup to uh, boil this water in. So that's what I'm after next. A uh, little stainless steel or perhaps a titanium pot. Anything that I could uh, melt these suckers down in. Now the trick to melting ice is to uh, keep the heat not super hot on your pot. Ice doesn't melt very fast, so you need to slowly heat it so you don't burn out the bottom of your pot. Well, I went a little overboard. I got the uh, the Grail Pathfinder cup, the nesting one with the GeoPress in it. You never know when you're going to have to source some water. Again, with the frozen water thing, um, if you can find some running water and you have a Grail, you're in business. The grail is actually freeze-thaw stable, so uh, it's not a hollow fiber filter, guys. This is what you want to invest in, good quality water filter. And the nesting cup. Awesome! But yeah, that's definitely going in the truck. What else? Calories. I didn't see anything in there to eat, so I grabbed some uh, uh, protein bars, some little freeze-dried bits, some chocolate covered espresso beans and uh these honey stinger energy chews these things will freeze solid but uh they'll taste pretty good next on the list something a little packable you could store in there these cheap throws uh quilted on insulation so i got two of those guys those will stuff down i mean you could really crush these things down to almost nothing pack them in there extra blankets um you couple these with the wool and now we're talking warmth and uh to go along with the wool wool socks man got to have extra socks with you your feet get wet you're not walking very far in temperatures like we've been experiencing you're gonna be in big trouble fast so good warm socks um if your boots get wet that's trouble don't forget your bread bags baby so waters gotta have them man I'm going to throw uh, three extra waters. They'll be frozen solid by tonight. Um, so uh, if you guys got any tips, tricks, uh, let me know what you keep in your car right down below in the comment section there. And um, maybe we can help somebody get through a tough time on the side of the road this winter. Maybe next winter. Who knows? Who knows? But put your comments down there, man. I'd love to hear what I'm missing. Um... I'd love to hear what I took that isn't really going to work. Um, if you guys got an opinion, I want to hear it down in the comment section. Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. Catch you all in the next one.